so in the last lecture we had seen that what is the meaning of the interface how to extend the interface and how to sorry how to implement the interface and how one interface is extending another interface okay so now we will see this into the pictures okay how to extend the interfaces an interface can extend another interface okay one interface can able to extend another interface but similar to the way like that similar to the way that the class can extend another class okay so just like similar how the class is behaving same type interface is behaving but whenever the class is coming into the picture so is in who wants the methods of interface and at that time i have to use the keywords as implements the extend extends keywords is used to extend an interface and the child interface inherits inherits the methods of parent interface okay so we are just seeing the example similarly okay here the public interface as we know that this is nothing but the way of defining the interfaces sports the name of the file is sports.java so therefore the name of interface is sports public void set home team and set visiting team so these are the two variables uh, these are the two methods which we would like to extend okay so here in this case if you are considering this football the file this file is a different and this file is a different football.java is the name of the file sports.java is the name of the file here we are trying to include this functions visiting team sorry uh, here we are trying to get the values of these two methods into this because i can able to access this if we are extending this so afterwards if i am extending this football automatically automatically i can able to get the contents of this file also and this file also okay so football.java this is nothing but like that since this is a interface this is also interface so therefore they are extending so it means that if you are considering the football the football is having these three methods along with these two methods okay so similarly hockey extends it is sports then it is also having 1 2 3 4 so four plus it is extending sports so six methods i am able to get within this interface so whenever i am trying to implement this hockey then at that time let us say that class abc implements hockey then at that time i have to give the implementations to these four also along with these two okay it means that I have to provide the declare definitions of six methods okay i have to provide the definition of these these six methods these four and these two methods because it is extending the sports the hockey interface has four methods but it inherits two from sports thus a class that implements hockey need to implement all six methods so this is the that this is the things which i have already told you okay similarly a class that implements football need to define the three methods from football and two methods from sports okay let us say that if anybody is trying to implement the football okay the class abc implements football then at that time i have to give the implementations for these three along with these two okay so it means that five total implementations for the five methods. so the next one is extending multiple interfaces okay. extending multiple interfaces a java class can only extend one parent class multiple inheritance is not allowed a java class can only extend one parent class so this is just because as we know that c++ doesn't allow multiple inheritance multiple inheritance is not allowed okay but multiple interfaces are allowed interfaces are not classes however and an interface can extend more than one parent interface the extend keywords is used once and the parent interfaces are declared parent interfaces are declared in a comma separate place. for example if this hockey wants the methods from the sports also and event also 
then at that time we can write it like this this is the interface so multiple interfaces is allowed but multiple inheritance is not allowed in java okay only one extends keywords i have to use and all the name of the classes should be comma set okay tagging the interfaces the most common use of extending interfaces of the when the parent interface does not contain any method okay so basically the most common use of extending occurs when the parent interface does not contain any methods the mouse listener interface in the java.awt extends java.event which is defined as so this is nothing but uh, the kind of the way which is the which is available in java.utility this already available event listener is nothing but the parent class an interface with no method it is referred as the tagging tagging interface means any interface without any method there are two basic design purposes of tagging interfaces create a common parent okay as so for example if you don't want to add any method into the interface then at that time you are using this it means that multiple if you want to combine the multiple interfaces or multiple classes to remember so multiple interfaces together then at that time we have to consider the interface okay we have to consider the tagging interface create a common parent as with event listener is nothing but this is the interface without any body which is extended by dozen of other interfaces okay this is extended by dozen of the interfaces in the java you can choose you can use a tagging interface to create a common parent so this is nothing but just to use the common parent so if you are including the event listeners automatically uh, this could be extended by many of the interfaces just to consider the common parent we are just using this kind of the tagging interfaces tagging interfaces are the interfaces which doesn't have any methods okay Uh, by dozen of other interfaces you can use a tagging interface to create a common parent among a group of interface for example when an interface extends event listener the jvm knows uh, the jvm knows that the particular interface is going to be used in an event delegation scenario the system automatically understand that when we are using this event listener add a data type to a class this situation is where the term tagging come from a class that implements a tagging interface does not need to define any method okay so it is tagging if you are using a tagging interface then at that time no method is required okay so i think this much is sufficient as far as the today's session is considered uh, in the next session we will be seeing the concept of uh garbage collection